Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so glad you decided to stop by today. So I've got a Shoe Dazzle subscription unboxing and an Ulta unboxing as well. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the Shoe Dazzle box because it's the biggest. <laughs> So, I do subscribe to Shoe Dazzle. Um, it's kind of, I guess it's like the same thing as Just Fab. I guess it's the like same company or however, because some of the, a couple of the shoes I've gotten before actually say Just Fab on them. Um, and I've ordered a coat from Shoe Dazzle that says Just Fab on it. So, I'm assuming it's the same thing. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. So, the first box in here looks like this. It's an all white box, which I like this, that two of these boxes aren't the normal pink shoe dazzle box, which one of them actually is. But these are Signature by Sparkle, I'm assuming is what it's called. These are the Xandra Nude in a size 8.5 for US. And if they're still on the website, I'm going to see if I can find them on the website for you. And I'll link those down below. But I did shop this during their 75% off sale. So, just go ahead and jump right into this. So they look like this. They're a little pump. Um, it's a pretty short heel. I don't normally like a heel that short. Not a fan of them, personally. Um, everyone has personal preference on the way they like their shoes and their clothes and stuff. So, I mean, personal preference for me... I have not yet tried these on, so I'll keep you updated with that, um, but probably by the time I've posted it, whether or not I had to send them back um, for a different size or not, but I did get an eight and a half. Occasionally with my heels, I get nines because of how they run, but I found that shoe dazzle runs true to size, so if you're an eight and a half in most of your shoes, then you're an eight and a half in their shoes because I did order a pair of nines from them before, and they were too big. So, with that being said, of how much I did pay for these shoes, because I know the next box is the Shoe Dazzle box, so this is the box that I was talking about that most of the shoes do come in, and these are the Levi Taupe in an 8.5, and, and they look like this. Um, they're super cute, and these are a Shoe Dazzle shoe, um, so I'm assuming that the other ones were obviously a different brand um but they are super cute this is like a stretchy like tight stretchy hairband stuff that like kind of goes around your ankle and then it's got the nice zipper on the back so again i don't know if these will fit me or not the only other shoes that i've gotten from shoe dazzle so far are a pair of like um, winter type boots that look like uggs and i got those in a nine and i like those in a nine because i wear two or three pairs of socks with those to keep my feet warm. Um, so that was the only thing. So I'll let you know somewhere on the screen if these worked out for me or not. And, oh look, another one of these. I always get these NakedWines.com $100 wine voucher, which are not 21, so I can't use. These are a Isabella Rue shoe um i'm so excited i think this is like the most exciting thing in this box for me the name of these are mega dark gray and i remember they had a black pair of these as well but i like the dark gray they look like this and they would actually match my outfit that i'm wearing right now really well except i would not wear these out in the weather that we're having it's rainy snow just you step in puddles of snow everywhere so they look like this, and then this is the side. They've got a zipper down the side, and they've got little, little, they look like screws almost. It's super cute the way it is, and then it kind of looks like a pirate boot on the top. Um, and I've already tried, I tried these ones on to make sure they fit, because normally boots I have to go up to a 9 in, but these ones are an 8 and a half. So definitely a true to size when you order from Chew Dazzle for sure. Um, and they look like this on the front. Just to give you guys a little sneak peek. This is definitely a higher heel than I would normally wear in one of my pair of boots. And they do fit true to size. And this goes, I have really long legs and this goes up to right above my knee. So, but here's the other one. 
in there. So, as you can see, I've already opened it. It comes in a little box like this, and it says Ulta on the outside. And then you get your shipping confirmation, and I think this is, yeah, it's the return label if nothing worked out for you. So, the first things in here that when I opened it the first time, I wanted to make sure I mentioned first were these two face masks I got. That's the Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Ultra Hydrating Paper Mask. I love sheet masks. They're by far my favorite. I do not like to have to wash off my mask. Um, most of the time, I only really use a scrub or something when I'm in the shower. But I'm actually excited about this one because I've had the charcoal sheet masks that detoxifies. I've tried almost all of them except for this one, so I'm so excited to try this one. I love anything that's hydrating, mostly because of the fact that I have super dry skin. So, and then the next mask I got was a Mist Spa, and this one's actually one that you put on your face. Uh, it's a peel-off mask, which I also love peel-off masks. Um, this is a pore minimizing one. It refines and de-emphasizes pores with tea tree extract. So I'm excited to see what this is going to do for my face. I've never tried a pore minimizing mask, but lately I've been noticing right around here I have pores and that's annoying. And same on my nose. It's um, The next thing I got in here was this Too Faced Sweet Peach uh, Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. These I know are like brand spanking new. I know they just came out with a whole bunch of flavors. Um, and I saw these on the Ulta website and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get one. It says, pucker up with our juicy peach oil infused creamy lip gloss that smells and tastes like freshly picked peaches. Sweet peach includes lip loving peach oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E to soften and moisturize lips. Like I said, I love Too Faced products because they are cruelty free and paraben free. They don't use silicones, and I'm pretty sure there's one, one product that they have that is not like that, but I don't know what it is. So, it looks like this. It says Too Faced, and then Sweet Peach, and the color I got was Pure Peach. On the Ulta website, on under the um, Sweet Peach little lip gloss thing. They actually have samples of models wearing the lip color and I thought that was super cool because I always hate ordering lip glosses online. Then you get them and you're like, oh gosh, I'm never going to wear that. And I'm so picky with the ones that I wear. Um, there's a scent. This is very sheer. Uh, I think it's going to be more of a everyday type just wear around. It's a very peachy pink. Um, let's see. It's the little scratch stickers. You scratch them off and then it smells like something. That's what this smells like. It's not terrible. Don't get me wrong. It's not terrible. It's just different. I'll have to get used to it. My tardiest glossy lip paint. Now if you watched my other Ulta haul in my other haul video that I posted on Tuesday, you will have seen that I did get the tartiest lip paint in Double Tap, which is what I'm wearing today. This is Obvi, and this is the first one I tried on in the store. Here are the two to compare. You can tell this one's Double Tap and this one's Obvi. They are definitely different, and I'm going to, this is, yeah, this one's Obvi. Okay, so there is Obvi, right next to the Sweet Peach color. Honestly gorgeous, something I'd wear every day. Compare, this one is Double Tap. So that is Double Tap. This one right here is Double Tap, and that is Obvi. You can clearly see the differences here now that I've swatched them on the back of my hands. Um, this is the one I'm wearing today, and I'm sure I'll be wearing that one very soon for you guys. This was the It Cosmetics, I hate these little, they're little containers because they never stay. Um, it's the It Cosmetics Airbrush Essentials Collection um, Cheek Radiance Fan Brush, and I did use it today to apply my highlighter, and I noticed right out of the package it didn't want to pick up product 
but as soon as I would like would just like rub it around and like my highlighter um I used the Carly Bible highlighter today just to try it out and I used her eyeshadow as well um normally I use my Tarte highlighter but this I noticed like as you can see it still looks almost completely brand new like I've never even touched it to product but I did I used it to highlight my cheekbones and my nose and very faintly on my chin and my forehead. I'm not a big fan of chin and forehead highlighting. I decided to keep using this product even though it was a little tricky to use this morning. So the one thing that I love about it is they are also cruelty free and um, paraben free. <laughs> so I love this. This is the like hyped as heck uh, concealer and I'm sure you guys know what's coming the Tarte BB Shape Tape. I have been eyeballing this baby for whoever knows how long. I'm pretty sure I wanted this for Jaclyn Hill, before Kathleen Lights, before really any of the makeup gurus had like started hyping it. Um, I've wanted this for quite a while. I saw Jaclyn Hill raving about it and then Nicole Guerrero raving about it. I don't, I haven't watched Carly Babel's videos in a while, but I'm sure she's probably raved about it as well. So I'm super stoked to try this, super excited. Um, it is the Shape Tape Contour Concealer, and I did get the shade Fair. I used it under my under eyes, and as you can see, it is a little bit too much of a white cast under my eyes. It doesn't do a great job of covering my dark circles because it's so white. So let's just show you how a little goes a long way with this. I found that out this morning. I had way too much, but my beauty blender took care of it. So that right there is what it looks like on me. And I am the fairest I will get right now. I'm probably going to go exchanges for the fair neutrals. Awesome thing that Ulta does is when you order online, any online order, you get um, free samples. Um, so when I saw this, this is perfect for me. Just open me on the open. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer infused with coconut water. So this is super cool because I used the Too Faced Born This Way uh, foundation. And it, they gave me fair, medium, and deep tan. So I'm assuming I can try and contour deep tan. Deep tan. I will let you know how that goes. Um, and I'll also try out the other colors. I have a feeling fair is going to be too pink under my under eyes. So it looks like this. And it's got the little reviews right there as well. And then this is the little card that they send. And then the last thing in the free samples was this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I will try this out for you guys for the sake of YouTube and let you know how this goes. Maybe even do a first impressions for you. Um just to see exactly how it would go. If I liked it, if I didn't, um, would I actually purchase it for myself? Probably not because it's, um, they use silicone in it. So they're obviously not paraben free or cruelty free. It's just a little hard. Um, that is it for this little video I wanted to film for you guys. Um, so definitely stay tuned for Tuesday. I'll have another video up then. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I do post my next video. And you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.